Hey team, how are we? Welcome back to Rags to Riches. I'm Easy 8 oce hope you're doing well. Um, we have a not quite so busy day today, but we do have a couple of little problems at the moment. Um, I have noticed, as you would have seen last time, that we do have some weeds. Yes. On the bright side, the canola has sprouted and it's looking very healthy, but you see these little darker green patches of grass and weeds that are just poking through so today we need to do something about that um yeah the last day the last time you were here it has actually been a couple of days um i spent a day doing some logging so as you'll notice the trees that were up there are now gone i've taken those off to the sawmill and they have been dealt with so as you can see we've got a fairly fairly healthy bank balance at the moment which fingers crossed is going to allow us to get a nice um a nice fertilizer spreader slash herbicide sprayer which is what we need um i would just go for a standard weeder um but that's yeah the sprayer the herbicide sprayer is actually going to be able to treat the soil and stop that from happening again so one spray over the field and the weeds are gone for good uh, for this crop at least so we'll head over to the store and see what they've got for us um i have a feeling that we're going to have to go second hand on this one new sprayers are fairly expensive i think the cheapest one we've seen is around about 28 30 000 pounds uh so yeah to get one with what we've got we're going to have to go pretty either pretty cheap and nasty or really old and probably kind of yucky but hey you never know what's going to pop up at the shop we could in fact get ourselves a really good deal so let's go for a wee drive over to the shops and see what they've got for us okay here we are just about at the shops every time i drive past to see that spinner in man i just really really want to get some sheep at some point i know it's planning fairly far ahead but wool, wool is really good for getting the money in uh, obviously we're going to need quite a few things before we can even think about getting the sheep we're going to have to have somewhere to feed them somewhere to water them and also somewhere to transport the uh, salt so it is a fair way off but you know you never know we might get there eventually okay here we are at the shops I will just head inside and we'll have a talk to the lads about what they've got for us okay so as luck would have it they do have a fairly grubby beat up old rusty sprayer but hey you know with our bank balance beggars can't be choosers they've got it on at an extremely reasonable price of a thousand pounds um it'll carry two thousand liters of herbicide although we definitely definitely don't need to fill it up that much um, it does look like it requires 50 horsepower. The uh, tractor from memory has 45. So as long as you don't fill it right up, I think we should be okay. Um, and it does have an 18 meter working width. So I'd say probably only a couple of passes along our field and we should be golden. So that's, um, that's really exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this and we'll get it on back to the farm. Okay, here we are. Oh, better close the doors. One less job that the lads inside have to do. They, they actually do seem to be automatic, so that's actually really quite fancy. Um, yeah. So, as you can see, very rusty and beat up. The tyres, although they look a bit, a bit rough and worn out, the tread does look really good, so we might be alright for a while on those. Um, all the hosing and the spray nozzles. Actually it looks pretty fresh, so maybe they've refurbished it and done it up a little bit since they bought it uh, from whoever owned it last and it looks like yeah that's a that's a herbicide tank over there so we can just take what we need from there we'll have to pay for it obviously but yeah we don't have to spend a couple of thousand dollars on a um, so an ABC full of herbicide just gonna yeah just buy what we need yeah, I think maybe four or five hundred liters should do it. So we'll hitch this up. Beauty. And we'll make our way over to that herbicide tank. 
Okay, yeah. So the pickup there was a little bit slow, so the tractor is feeling the weight a little bit, but hey, we should be just fine. So let's just pull up alongside here as close as we can. Mm. Yep, looks like that's close enough for the hoses, so we'll get some herbicide in there. Oop, okay, yep, that's enough. 792 pounds, not bad. And, oh yeah, just over 600 litres, so I think we've done okay there. How's that looking running behind us? Magic, our very own sprayer. Given we've got the fertilizer spreader back at the yard, uh, which I prefer to the to the fertilizer sprayers, this one will um, be used exclusively for the herbicide. Uh, suits me because we don't have to worry about siphoning out uh, excess material and getting herbicide mixed in with our fertilizer when we change the tank. Just just a lot simpler. Makes a lot more sense to me anyway. It might cost a little bit more in initial setup, but you know. Shortcuts inevitably lead to long cuts, and I think that's what would happen if we just used the same sprayer for liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Plus there's only one giant tank of herbicide there, I didn't see... So, I think we'll just stick with the solid stuff for now. Alright, make our way back to the farm. Ooh. Looks like there's been a bit of a change up to the sawmill actually. Um, so they listened. I had a, a viewer say that, that yeah, the sawmill was looking a bit lumpy, it wasn't a great nick, and you know, I agreed. It's probably not going to be very good for our tractor in the long run, going in and out of there on that uneven ground. Uh, it's a tractor, but it's old, it can only take so much. Uh, so yeah, from the looks of things, they've flattened it out, made it a bit more uh, access friendly for us, so I think we'll end up checking that out later today. Because the next thing on our shopping list it's a way to harvest. So we don't here yeah, we don't have a harvester. Generally those are pretty pretty expensive pieces of equipment. Uh, so we may have to rent one, but you never know. We might get lucky again like with the uh, with the herbicide sprayer back there. We might just find one that's perfect for our needs. Okay, so we're just about back to the farm. I will meet you over at the field and we'll get spraying. Alright, here we are. Uh, okay, let's get up the top of the fields. Watch out for that stump. I think we should be alright with the width of this. Now I'm hoping that this canola is still small enough that we can uh, yeah, drive over the top of it without it killing off the crops. I think we are still early enough. So we'll unfold that. All right, look at that. That's that's enormous for this field, but we are a little bit far forward. There we go. All right, let's get spraying. And we've missed a patch on that corner, so we'll we'll come back and sort that out at the end. But yeah, that's looking like it's doing the business. I think one more pass should do it. If we can line this up just right. And then we'll just do a bit of a walk over just to make sure we haven't missed anything, which I unfortunately have missed a little bit again. It's just those corners that really get me out. Eh? Just get them a bit up. There we go. So we've just gotten caught out by that tree there. Let's give these corner, these edges a little bit of a quick run over. Yep, just cleared that tree. And there was this part down here that we missed just at the very start. Alright. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'm really glad that we actually ended up leaving this lane, lane here between the field and the garage. So we can drive down there. Is that, yeah, that only just fit the, uh, fit the sprayer there. Okay, give this a quick spray as well. Alright, 
Now I'm just going to have a quick walk over the field and see how it looks. We'll leave that unfolded for now just in case we do need to go back and get a couple of bits. But yeah, those are looking like some uh, some very dead weeds. Any green ones in here? Ah, bother. Okay, so we've missed a spot through here. Yeah, it looks like just a very small patch directly down the middle of the field, so... Yeah, unfortunately it looks like the the spray is not quite wide enough to do the whole field in one, um, two passes. So we'll hop back on. I think we had plenty of herbicide left, so... Should be pretty quick. Yeah, we've still got just under 500 liters, so... I'd say to be safe, probably we'll need like a 150-ish liters per spray into the field. So that's, yeah, it's not too bad. Get that finished up. We'll go right to the end just to be thorough. And then we will put this away. But yeah, looking at the size of this field though, and the, the amount of time that we're going to have between... Yeah, between finishing spraying this up and harvesting. Uh, we'll do some logging today, but I think it might be a good idea to, yeah, to plow out another field. Maybe, maybe on the other side of the shed? I don't know, what do you think? Alright, we'll just put away. I'm thinking we'll put it just in front of the fertilizer spreader there. Is that far back enough? Got a little bit of room, but that'll... That's probably actually a good spot for it. Could probably just sneak in there and pull that fertilizer spreader out if we need it. Okay, so... Still have another quick walk over the field. Pretty pleased with that. Our first crop is underway. Uh, the weeds have been sprayed off. The soil's all treated. So... Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Now we wait until we can harvest it. And in the meantime, we will try and get enough money through the logging to... Uh, yeah, to buy us a new... Yeah, to buy us a new uh, harvester. Well, not a new one. It's probably going to be, you know, somewhere, somewhere in the region of 20 to 50 years old. So yeah, definitely not new, but... If it works, it works, and if it's in our price range, that's that's perfect. We can't really ask for much more than that. So let's find a nice tall tree. Well, it really seems like they're all nice tall trees around here. Um, I think we should maybe, yeah, keep clearing this way. Um, that'll basically expand more and more room for us to to keep plowing fields out this way. I think that's going to be the best idea because I don't think we actually have very much room on the other side of the shed. Alright, actually, let's not fell it onto our trailer. Fell it along the length of the field. Right there. At least don't have the trailer. Ah, good. Well easy. Okay, that tree was a lot smaller than I thought. So we'll just chop that up and get that quickly loaded in. And then we'll look for our next victim. So yeah. These trees aren't long for the world. I mean, we might replant some of the area with some more trees. Uh, depends on how we go, if we need more. If we get more equipment, that's going to make that profitable for us. And I really do enjoy using the uh, the tree harvesters. Uh, I've seen those in action, and they are really cool. Get some really nice uniform length logs, and I'm just going to open up the back of the trailer to make life a little bit easier for us. So much easier loading logs from the back than over the side. Ooh. Provided we don't tip the trailer on its side. Ha ha ha. Yeah, hope not. Uh, 
Alright, we'll get these loaded up and then we'll find our next tree. from the bottom of the trunk. Those are going to sell for a lot on the wood chipper. I mean, looking at the forest, there's plenty more where this came from, so we should be alright in terms of having nicer, uh, nice thick long trees to sell uh, when we get around to doing some actual logging. Oh yeah, this, this is the ticket. Alright, we'll chop that about there. Okay. And yeah, last time I saw the um, yeah, last time I saw the sawmill manager, I said there is still a lot of demand for wood chips. Like the price is just going up and up. So hopefully we should get pretty good return out of these logs. Don't think we're going to fit it all in, but hey, we might as well chop it all up. Um, it's going to make it easier for us later. There we go. All right. This might be a bit long, but hey, we'll see how we go. And we don't necessarily need to close the back as long as everything's strapped in nice and tight. Okay, let's see if this is gonna fit. Yep, that's uh, <laughs> that's a lot bigger than any of the uh, rest of them. I mean, here's if you look, if you look at it dead on. It's almost like it's coming at you. It's like a perspective thing. God, I wouldn't want to get hit in the face with a log like that. Okay, enough jokes. I'll quickly get this um, this lot loaded up, strapped down, and we'll get on our way over to the sawmill. Mm -hmm. stacking. I've managed to get the entire tree uh, <laughs> set on the back of the trailer. Don't think we'd ne yeah we wouldn't be allowed anywhere near a public road with this. So hopefully the tracks can pull it. Hopefully the logs don't go flying on the way over. And hopefully ooh, don't tip. Yes. Maybe turning up hill would have been a better idea there. We'll just keep to the flatter areas as much as we possibly can. Yeah, I think that's looking... Yeah, I wouldn't say stable, but good enough. 
It's not like we're, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's not like there's any local police around here. No cops to give us grief about it. So yeah, quick drive over to the sawmill. Um, actually curious to see what they've done with the place. It looks good from a distance, but I actually haven't been in there myself yet to check it out. Uh, and I was actually thinking as well, I have done a couple of bouts of logging um, while I've been away from the vlog, so we'll come back with a little bit of money. You're my viewers, so I'm going to go with what you think. Uh, but would you prefer that I... Are you okay with me doing logging off screen, um, off camera, and getting that money built up, or would you rather see every every little bit of dirty work that goes on around here? So yeah, it can be a little bit odd to come back and see if I've got heaps of money, so if you'd like me to keep it as transparent as possible, I can guarantee you that I definitely am logging. Got the stumps to prove it. Um, if you cut some bruises too. But yeah, if you'd like to see everything, let me know in the comments and I will go with what you say. So this is... wow. really like what they've done with the place. It looks much, much tidier. Same old car and truck that were there before. Um, sawmill. Wood chip is still, still running. Old Faithful over there. So, yeah. Looks like those straps were really the MVP today. I was holding everything together. I'll get these all chipped. And we'll see how much money we make, eh? Okay, first one going in. That one's not going to be an amazing price. It's kind of an average, average size log. Okay, 116 pounds. They weren't kidding when they said the price had gone up for these things. So. Hey, can only be glad of that. 178 pounds. Woohoo! All right, now we're cooking with gas. I'm liking this. Great, so I'll, uh, I'll carry on with this, and we'll see how much money you come out with at the end. logs it up and do the chipper. Yeah. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, yep, that money's bumping up. Oh, a whopping £553 for that log. So, yeah, you can't be anything but happy with that. Um, Alright, let's get back to the farm, um, see if there's anything else that needs to be doing. But I think that's more or less it for the day. Uh, ooh, nice! They actually did listen, they put a track out here going right around the whole way. Um, they've done a great job of smoothing that off as well. A little bit of camber to the track, but you know, the majority of the time you're going to be coming around that way empty, so I think that's going to be just fine for us. Uh, Alright, so I will head back to the farm and I will see you there. Okay, here we are back at the farm. We'll just put our wee... I guess it's more or less our logging trailer at the moment. Uh, Mostly, mostly a multi-purpose trailer at this point. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, all we've really used it for is logging and the transporting of a few bags of seeds and fertilizer. So, you know, multi-purpose. It's been incredibly handy. Um, not bad for I think the what, 1,500 1, odd pounds that we pay for it. So yeah, hard to be mad at that. Uh, all right, <clears throat> so. Middle of the day, so pretty much lunchtime. The crops look like they're growing just fine. Lots of dead weeds in there, but they'll uh, they'll get chewed up and mulched out when we come through with the harvester or the plow next time we need to get started. Um, actually, next time for this field, we might not even need a plow. We can just get a cultivator if we can afford one. Run through the field, and that's gonna yeah, that's gonna make all the difference for us. It'll take a lot less time. 
so yeah, next time I think we'll expand out this way. I think maybe cut another field. I don't think we're going to make quite as much money as we really want to off just this small field. But yeah, we can start about here. Out to that tree, maybe. Yeah, out to that tree. Head out a bit towards the boundary of the fields. The boundary of our land, sorry. And then we can, um, yeah, we can go from there. I would like to expand into that plot of land there one day. There's plenty of open ground for fields. Um, <clears throat> I do believe it is about 85,000 pounds to, uh, oh god, found another log. We have a missing log team. Log down! Uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I digress. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, it's going to be a while before we get 85,000 pounds together. So, yeah, we will probably plow out another field next time, maybe go harvester shopping, see what we can afford. Uh, we're going to need a grain trailer too, because although this has a 4,000 odd litre capacity, it is all very open at the top, and I think the canola seeds will just pour out the sides. So yeah, um, that's that's us for today. Bit of logging, bit of, bit of dealing with the weeds, crop protection. So thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I'm easy 8 oce If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Um, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode. Uh, if you see, if you haven't seen the first few episodes, there's a link down to episode 1 uh, just on the bottom left of the screen there. So if you enjoyed this, have a look at that. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, I think we asked a couple of questions. So yeah, get back to me and have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.